So why do I come? Yeah. Let's usually, all do it. usually come. I come to play percussion. Tonight I come to play sounds and video. Well, folks here to see Sleep Chamber. Yes, we are. Who? Yeah, is this your first time? You've ever been to a Sleep Chamber show before? No. No. So, so. First time. First time. Why'd you come? Because they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> what? What brought you out to Sleep Chamber? Never seen them before. So have you heard them before? Do you listen to them? Yes. Yeah. 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 What do you like about them? I don't know, there's just something about the music that stirs something within me. Sort of gets, gets to your head, sort of a primal thing? Yeah. I've heard different things about them. That they engage in sorts of weird, carnal acts of perversion and stuff on stage. That their music's pretty good, too. Yes, so. So you've never seen them before? No, never. I'm from Los Angeles. Los Angeles, all right. Uh, so Gabrielle, tell us about your gum. Well, this was six feet of gum, but everyone ate it. One day, I will buy a whole bunch of these and make a gum dress. And can dance I, with sleep chamber in a gum dress. Can I videotape you? Yes, you can videotape me in my gum dress. Cut this shit, you Czechoslovakian bitch. Hey, she's been drinking and she hasn't let it go. I'm being careful. Yeah. She can hurt I've got a lot of gum and you've got lots of hair. This is saxophone Laura. Cheers. Cheers. So Laura, what up? Now you you are, you know, a member of the band more or less. You could say that. Yeah, yeah. Well tell me. What do you like about the music that uh, is created within the sleep chamber system? Well, it's much different than the music I've played. It's not rock and roll. It's less structured. I don't have to play blues, blues lines, you know? Well, what do you like? Like, if you go home and you listen to a sleep chamber record, what makes you put that record on, even though maybe you're not on it? or The beat and the mood. Huh? So what are you doing here at the sleep chamber show? Well, sleep chamber hasn't played in a while, and I figured come down and see them. They've been canceling a few shows and I've just been looking forward to seeing them. It's been about a year or so since they have seen them play. Yeah, you've, um, I, I may have seen you at some other shows. Uh, you come out a lot or? Yeah, I, I come down to their shows, you know, they only play only so often, you know, it's worthwhile seeing them. They're one of the better live bands I've seen in Boston. Uh -huh. What do you think the attraction is at Sleep Chamber? Well, for you specifically. For me specifically, I think it's the, the, the lyricism that's in the lyrics. It's a, a vast poetic kind of uh, license that Sleep Chamber uses in its lyricism. It's not straightforward rock and roll, it's neither the dance industrial that's so permanent or so prominent, should I say, in most of the recent uh, music that's coming out nowadays. Their lyricism is very uh, secretive and sort of slyly sexual in any kind of way that you can interpret. I see, so. Thank you. 
Thanks for coming, we appreciate it. Why didn't you, why didn't you, why didn't you, why didn't you? On through a friend and we got talking and I told him I played saxophone so we started to collaborate on music together. Oh no, not at all because what I portray in those videos is not necessarily my actual lifestyle. Um, I enjoy performing. Uh, <laughs> it kind of goes with the last question. Um, No, they're not sexist. Uh, they're not asking women to do things against their own will. Um, My role in Sleep Chamber is not to fit into a format, sexual or otherwise. Walden Sleep Chamber, well. I was indoctrinated into sleep chamber by my good friend John, who shared with me some uh, cultures that he had experienced, with which I primarily felt quite comfortable. I'd had a uh, varied past music industry, Boston area, reasonable amount of experience, and I was able to uh, exude competence to Mr. Z. Wiz. And, uh, we began to do some playing together. We've known each other long enough. It's not like I just bumped into him on the street. We've known each other since Columbus was in school. And uh, we just went into it. My role in Sleep Chamber? Well, primarily my role in Sleep Chamber is to play the musical instruments, but uh, my real role in Sleep Chamber is not to have a role. You know, I don't, I don't have to fit into a role, in other words. I'm not uh, some kind of a die-cast mold, in other words. And this whole thing about women being exploited in the videos. The biggest thing I've got to say about it is Exploitation can only be exploitation if any type of force is used. In my opinion, I'm not a lawyer, okay? The way I view things is this. If somebody is willingly doing something, automatically exploitation cannot even be the issue. Because to me, exploitation is, uh, is by force. You've got to force somebody to do something they don't want, or show something they don't want, or act out something they don't want. You know, we're not, uh, there's no reason being twisted here. People are forming a line to be involved in the videos. You know, there's a waiting list. I mean, it's not. I don't even. I don't believe the whole exploitation thing, at all. Period. Wild things at the shows. What was the wildest thing that ever happened at a show? Well, that, I guess all shows are in the running. That if he had a problem, he could consider probably trying to fuck himself as an alternative to fucking with us because you need a fucking prescription to fuck with us, and his underpants had to take a friggin' train to catch up with him. Uh, other times, somebody come up on the stage with a knife. Betsy likes to come to the gigs because uh, a lot of times people have something wrong where they might have like a thermometer stuck someplace uncomfortable and they need to try and uh, be a hero. But it's not usually uh, acceptable to my terms. Anyway, kill or be killed, uh, judged by 12, carried by 6, any of the silly ass cliches, uh, they all work. Bottom line is, uh, don't fuck with what's not yours. It's pretty cut and dry and pretty straightforward, and I think besides uh, some people that are living in a fantasy world, and uh, they view anybody who's, who's in any kind of a situation that involves entertainment as a demigod, which I prefer not to be uh, in that group, my, my message is very simple. Uh, you know, just live and let live. Everybody enjoy what they're doing, and never mind pointing the finger at who's being sexist, and who's exploiting who, and who's worshipping what, and what cults are what, and language. And, no. Sorry. Cannot even be uh, brought, brought to an issue. Bottom line is my advice to people, uh, fans or otherwise, just enjoy, you know. And you're not here for a long time, you're here for a good time. And uh, I think entertainment plays a role, and the thing about it is we've got our views and we've got our ways. And you always get people at PMRC and all, all these other folks who are really into, uh, you know, the censorship thing is really offensive to me because, you know, who are you? What do you want? You got a problem? Take the, pull the needle off the record, eject the tape, shut the TV, don't read the papers, you know, do whatever you want, be a shut-in. 
but don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to read, what to write, what to say. Don't tell me what type of films I can watch. Don't tell me what type of records to release or what can be on the covers. Don't tell me not to have women on the stage. You know, it's like the whole, uh, the whole freedom thing for me is a real big, it's a big issue. Don't tell me I can't own firearms. Don't tell me I can't uh, do whatever. I mean, you know, there's limits, obviously. I'm not into uh, hurting other people. I'm personally into like, living and let live, live, live. I mean, it's just a matter of uh, respect to other people. I think respect is a big issue with me. I want to respect people. I want them to respect me. And if they don't, that's when problems arise. And they need to be rectified. That's the name of that, too. And Uncle John decided to like get all the like fire burning incense started, and there was plenty of there was heap of state troopers there. <laughs> and I think we were doing our second song, and like uh, Officer Friendly said, "What did he say?" He said, uh, "Cut the sh cut the shit, get rid get rid of the fucking smoke. This place is filled. It's like a big hallway." Rid of the incense. No, it was, it was a big hallway, and like they said, get rid of the smoke, cut the shit. And plus, we're like about two hours overdue because uh, the PA system had dumped like three times and they had blown like every speaker in the place like twice because all these guys were up there being yahoos. And I don't know, the system, the system must have dumped at least twice. So we had these stadies saying, get rid of the smoke. I don't know if there's a stage as a guy managing it said, so just get off stage. <laughs> We've had enough of enough, you know? And uh, I was fucking high as a kite, just drinking my full bottle of Jägermeister. And plus another few drinky winkies. <laughs> and uh, John, whatever you had in that. Uh, Fucking bowl of incense got me higher than a kite because oh, the oatmeal. Sweet. Yeah, that's yeah. What was this? Yeah, it was like two feet away from me, and I was like had my head in the air doing the feedback thing. And while I had my head in the feedback trick, I was getting higher than the kite off that fucking incense. Say so I've joined sleep chamber like, oh, those, hey, they're fucked. Hey, those guys are fucking the head, man. You know, what the fuck? Yeah, those are the guys with all the videos. Huh? They're fucked in the head. Sexuality and exploitation. <laughs> Just show us your tits. I don't know. <laughs> no, I. The sexual image which uh, is labeled sleep chamber with, I inherited with uh, becoming a m member of the band. John created it and uh, I agree with some things, I don't agree with some other things, but I go along and I don't try to change the image. I think it's different and it's good. I don't think that sleep chamber is sexist whatsoever. Um, it's sexual, but not sexist, which is significantly different. And I hate stupid people and ignorant people who don't try to find out anything more about it and just label us as a sexist band. Philosophy of magic and cultism, I'm not very heavy into it. That's John's department. I play with my uh, electronic stuff and uh, let John worry about those things. I I don't really believe too much about. I don't really believe very much into magic and and uh, occultism and uh, cults and the other things. Uh, uh, I know I was. Uh, I grew up in a kind of a traditional r religious family, so uh, some of it is cultivated in my head a little bit. So I have respect for religions, organized religions, which John disagreed completely. It is uh, un insignificant if I believe or not, but I have respect for it because uh, 
regardless if it's true or not, a lot of people believe in it and uh, you can't call them fools even if you don't believe. Let's oh. say a uh, few wild things would happen in the sleep chamber while I was in there. There was a girl which uh, was actually uh, during the show masturbating on the front row. She was sitting on, on the stage and she was doing it and we could see it and uh, you know, it was, that was quite funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know which song, I, I don't remember what was the, the leaker. I <laughs> Yeah, we call it a leaker because there was a wet spot on the, on the floor after her. I mean, actually not on the floor, on the stage. Um, I don't know to who she was uh, looking at when she was masturbating. Maybe John, maybe Jonathan, because uh, that was a show with which Jonathan Brawley was with, with us. Talk about it. We uh, we have fun sometimes, and uh, uh, what was that? Styrofoam, the white stuff. We grind that, that, that stuff into a huge fan and then the whole floor and, and audience is covered with, by it and same with feathers, um, which is not very uh, new but it still works, people have fun. Sometimes a lot of people complain we use too much smoke, which I agree. Sometimes we use incense, which is... Uh, which. Uh, it's got different things, I'm not going to say what it's got in there because it's a secret, but uh, some people flip over it. <laughs> they get really happy in the front row, which I'm not suggesting anything, of course. I, uh, no, I, people, yeah, somebody asked me if I, if I was in those uh, X-rated videos of sleep chamber, but uh, no, I, I don't think I was, uh, unless I don't know about something. <laughs> But I don't think so. Maybe John was in there. He's gonna deny it, of course, or he will be very mysterious and will say, "Oh, I don't know." <laughs> but uh, uh, no, not me. Do I use drugs? I've, well, I, I'm old right now, and I'm, I'm not as old as John is. I'm not gonna say how old I'm, but uh, I went to my wild stage of uh, of my life. But right now, just once in a while, not too much, not heavy stuff, just light light stuff. Say to John a few things uh, that you know he, do, he does appreciate me as uh, the way I am. <laughs> we have disagreements. I try to work around it, but I don't know. Sometimes he kicks me, and uh, you know I don't like that. I work with John, but you know I don't work for John. That's the thing. And he likes to order people, and they, you know he's not as bad as uh, um, uh, what's his name. Genesis PR, but he's got his problems too, you know. He probably is gonna cut it out what I'm saying right now. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> uh, but he, he is alright. He just, you know, we have disagreements sometimes. Of course, when two individuals get together, nobody can follow each other and get sometimes to the point that, you know, it's hard to work. But uh, we work around it and some. And I hope some stuff comes out pretty good. <laughs>